Hello, welcome to my kitchen. So for today's um, fantastic and thrilling um, festive meal, I'm gonna make some lasagna. So we got the lasagna noodles. I don't eat beef, so we're gonna do, I have ground chicken and ground turkey. Usually I would just use turkey, but I only had one turkey and one chicken. And for my super secret special sauce, it's gonna be ragu. And we'll use some garlic salt and some Italian seasoning, and then lots and lots of cheese. I don't have any ricotta cheese, so today we'll be using um, whatever I have. So I'm gonna try to speed things up so it'll go fast as it goes. So, um, so let's start cooking. I'm gonna go and dump out this goopy goop. Just gonna, I just wanna say that clearly I did not schedule things correctly because the meat is nearly complete and yet the water still has not boiled. <laughs> but you know what? magic of the video. Another very poor miscalculation, I used a very small pot for <laughs> lasagna noodles. <laughs> okay, so while that's cooking, so we'll see, let's see what cheeses we have. So we have some uh, cheddar cheese that we'll be using in here. We'll be using some Colby and Monterey Jack. Some low moisture part skin mozzarella cheese, that'll be nice. A bit more mozzarella. So I'm probably, I'm not gonna use all of this because otherwise it'd be super duper cheesy. And then we have some provolone cheese. So lots of different cheeses. Um, there was some Gouda and some other stuff in there too, but I don't know how much cheese how many different types of cheeses do you use? I mean, I love cheese. <laughs> and some people say with the noodles that you don't really even need to cook them. You can do, because it cooks in the sauce and all that stuff. I still like to cook them ahead of time. But holy moly, is this thing ever gonna be done? Oh, I had it down too low. No wonder, it's probably cooling off. Okay, so I forgot Parmesan cheese as well. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move us over to the other side so we can watch as I assemble. Okay, so I finished cooking the noodles and you see them in here? I put a little bit of cold water in there so I wouldn't burn my hands while I assembled. And I got the meat right here. I got some of the garlic salt. I also, I have all those different cheeses and I have some Parmesan and I have another bottle of magical ragu sauce and some more Italian seasoning. So let's assemble now. So let's see how we do here. So I'll show you how this works. So the first thing I do is I put a little bit of sauce in the bottom just so things don't stick. Let me get a spoon, hold on. And then I'm just gonna smear it around. So instead of using any kind of grease or anything like that, I'm just gonna put some sauce on there. Just so the stuff don't stick. Wonderful, huh? Okay. Now I'm gonna start off with a couple of noodles. I've never made it in this size pan before, so it'll be interesting how it fits. Oh man, it doesn't even fit. Eh, hmm, 
Now I gotta think what I wanna do. I wanna cut them down or do I wanna get a bigger thing? Uh, I'll leave them in this, but I'm gonna cut it down. I'm gonna get out of the knife. So, I'm gonna make a huge mess. Okay, see, so there you have my first little layer. Then I'm gonna put some meat on it. Spread it out. And this is normally where I would put the ricotta cheese in there, but today, no ricotta. Um, and my hands are all post up. But let's take some provolone. And some, whatever this was, Colby Monterey Jack. I think that's what this one was. So we'll kind of scratch it up, put them in there. And everything's gonna get dirty. All my hands touching everything today. Everything's gonna need a super good cleaning. my assembly part of these lasagnas. The next part, what I do is I'm gonna cover them. So let me get some tin foil here. So here, let me go up a little bit now that they're assembled. Okay, so now I take some tin foil and this one. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, so, and then I cover it up. kind of want it slightly tinted. So, otherwise, if I don't have a little a little bubble in the top, the cheese will all stick to the tin foil. And I don't want that. So. So then I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 30 minutes when it's time. It's not quite time to cook it yet, so I'll probably put it in the fridge until then, but I'll put it, then I'll probably put it in the oven for about 45 minutes, and then I'll uncover it and cook it for about another 30 minutes, and then it'll be uh, delicious, and then it ends up with a crispy on the top because I had it uncovered. And for some reason, it's just not crisp enough on the outside. And you know, I like, can kind of tell when it's done, when it starts to bubble and, um, when it's bubbling in there, it's starting to bubble over and my oven starts to smoke and yuck and blah. Uh, but then it is done. But um, but then if it for some reason isn't crisping up, I can stick it on broil for a few minutes and that'll basically crisp up anything. And I can always add a little bit more Parmesan or something else on the top if I want to. But basically, that's lasagna.